greet you again on this beautiful Lord's Day in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. What a blessing it is to, and to bring this broadcast to you in your homes, and we, we pray that it will be a blessing to you. Gracious Son of God, we thank you again for what you're going to do this morning as we teach your people and give them the word. We pray that you will be glorified, anoint me to teach and to um, teach this morning, and it will be such that you will be pleased and you will be glorified, and, though, and ask that you will open up the ears and uh, the people who are sitting this morning. Uh, don't let it fall on deaf ears, oh God. Let it be well with them that it will be a better steward, and if they are not saved today, it will be the day that they will accept your darling son, Jesus. We give you all the honor and praises in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. This morning I want to deal with this morning um, about the image of God, living the image of God. And I just pray that you will understand <clears throat> the word this morning as we deal with the image of God. Um, the American Heritage Dictionary uh, says that an image is a person or thing that closely resembles another. It's something that um, um, looks like something else. It's prob probably an image. When you look uh, as yourself in the mirror, uh, you will see your image. Uh, but it is not you. Here's what I'm saying. If you would stand in the mirror and if someone would break the mirror or you would shoot the mirror, uh, the bullet will not hit you. It will hit your image and break the mirror. Our text this morning is dealing with the image of God. The image of God. You, you will look at Genesis chapter 1 and I want to share <clears throat> verse 26 and 27 with you and it says and God said, let us, us, that's Jesus, God and Jesus said, let us and the, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, is what it's talking about. Let us make man in our image. We want to make man, we want to make you in our image. We want to make him after our likeness. He want to be uh, made, going to create him in our, listen at God saying, in our image. We're going to treat man, uh, Adam, we're going to deal with him, and, 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 and look what it says, he says, Adam was not, uh, Adam was created to, to be in God's image. He was not God, but he was created in the image of God. The created man, God created man in his image, and Adam, we're talking about Adam, talking about Adam now, uh, Adam had the spiritual image of God. He had the knowledge of God. The knowledge. Look at that Miller part of 26. He says, he said, he said, in 26, he said, uh, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over cattle and over all the earth. And every 
uh, creeping uh, thing that creepeth upon the earth. See, he had the knowledge. God gave him that knowledge to, to deal with everything that he created. He created. Uh, uh, now watch this. Watch this. God created Adam in his image and not, this is going to surprise some of you now, not you and I created Adam and Eve. Uh, Adam was, was perfect. He was perfect. Look at Genesis 5. I'm going to share something there with you here. Uh, 5 and verse 1, 2 and 3. He said, it said, this is the book of the generation of Adam. In the day that God created man in his likeness of God, he made he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when he uh, were created. Here's what I'm going to get you now. He says in three, he said, And Adam lived an hundred and thirty years and begat, what's this, a son in his own likeness after his image. I'm going to read that again. Look what it says here now. We're talking about, what's verse 3? He said, And Adam lived an hundred and thirty years. And Adam begat, he had a son in whose image? See, in his image, his image, and he called his name Set. See, God made Adam perfect. He was in his image. See, but when Adam sinned, he, he, he done the thing that God asked him not to do. Then he had a son, and his son uh, was created in the in Adam because his sinful nation, nature, he was created just like Adam. Somebody not getting it today. Uh, we have a sinful nature. Look at a baby. Baby is born a perfect being and and so, well, with sin, I'm saying he is innocent, but that baby will do things that will blow your mind. That baby will 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 will, will, will slap you, mommy. He will swing and try to hit you. Uh, uh, he would throw the ballers around in the room, and I remember our two sons, both of them. They was a few. Uh, some years apart, and we would get up and give them their formula, give them their baller, and, and, and get back in the bed and wait to hear the sound. Then in a few minutes, they would get the baller and, and throw it on the wall and try to break it. That's what, <laughs> that's what that sinful nature would do. You give them the baller, and they try to hit you with it. But look here. Uh, so, uh, so, 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 so they would stick their lips out. You know, you see babies, they send them a little baby, and you changing them, and they still mad with you. Lips poked out. You, you, haven't you seen them lips stick all out? And they roll their eyes at you, little baby, <laughs> babies, some months, not even a year old, rolling their eyes at you. <laughs> That's that sin for nature. Um, um, look at man and the way man has become. Man is a mess, I tell you. 
God is ashamed at the way man turned out to be. That man is something else. Uh, that man will do some stuff that will blow your mind. Look at Isaiah. I want to share this with you. Look at Isaiah 64 and, and 6. And we're talking about this, this, this dirty, unclean man. And Isaiah 64, it says, it says, look, look, it says, we are, he said, we are all as an unclean thing. And all our righteousness are as filthy rags. Wow. 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 All of our righteousness, as good as you think you are, as good as you say you are, as good as you look, pretty as you are, and, 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 and handsome as you are, the Bible said, out of all of our righteousness, we are unclean, filthy. Now, this is not what that scripture is saying, what I'm going to tell you now. This is not what that scripture is saying. This is, this is, this is Leonard Ross' theology. This is what I'm saying. Now, the scripture is not saying this. And, and this is my, my saying. Talking about how unclean we are. Now, remember now, I said this is not uh, what Isaiah is saying. This is what Leonard Ross Pastor Leonard Ross is saying, talking about how dirty we are. Remember now, my saying. We are so dirty, ladies and gentlemen. We are so unclean. You know we had to walk around with a mask on <laughs> all the day long. We are we are so filthy. We are so now. I, I, I just told you this is not what that Bible is saying. This is my theology. We are so unclean. We are so filthy. We had to sit around each other. Husband, and wife had to sit around. The, the, uh, we, when you go out to a beautiful restaurant, to go out to go out and eat, uh, you walk in. Everybody, the, even the children, little babies, got on a mask. We, we are so unclean. All of all of us are wearing. We had to wear a mask because we are so. Unclean, we're filthy. <laughs> we, I, I, I do want to get that one in. So, but listen, listen, we're unclean. We're unclean. To, uh, all of the righteousness, and we are supposed to be in the image of God. He created Adam. Now listen now. Created Adam and Eve. They were, uh, uh, they were, they were, they were sinless. They, they, they had. They they would he traded them to to listen to live forever. They were supposed to have a beautiful life, and, and then we were supposed to be born from Adam and Eve, and we were supposed to be just like them. We were supposed to live forever. We were supposed to be at at a point in life where this coronavirus would not affect us, even if it was in the land, because we were, were, were born of Adam and Eve, uh, that disease would not affect us. It would not bother us. Case in point, if you, do you think that corona will, will disturb and bother God? Do you think it would affect Jesus Christ? If Jesus was walking this earth right now, he w could walk in the midst of the hospital where all of the virus, uh, deadly virus lies and still walk through those coroners and walk in the room 
touch you, kiss you, hug you with no mask and still live. I'm preaching to you this morning. Y'all can sit back and look what you want to. But, but because what Adam done in that garden and that sinful nature, now we will contract this disease and some of us would die. We will leave here. We will die. We would die because we are a sinful people. Let me close this and give you a little, little hope here. I want to deal with 2 Corinthians, that fifth chapter, 1 Corinthians. And I want to deal with verse 17. Look what it says. Look what it says. We're dealing with this, 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 this old you. And how the old you must pass away. Look what it says. It says, therefore, if any man, if now, if any man be, in Christ, that means if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, he said, then he is a what? New creature. You are new. The old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. New. You want to get that new image, accept Jesus Christ. You want to, 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 to accept, if you want to be made new and made whole again, baby, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Hmm? Old things, though, old, 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 that old image of yours that you created was pass away. Don't low down the evil and nasty things that you used to do, baby, will pass away. Then you are new again. You knew. You knew. When you don't want to go, when you get it in your heart that that those low down the things that I used to say. When you don't want to even curse no more. Hmm? You know, you, I know you did it. I, me, I did. Yes, yes, yes. I cursed. Used to say some things. Used to call you some name, baby, not even in the dictionary. Used to call you some things. But when you get to that stage in life where you don't want to even say those things no more. People, people. Driving your car, people stopping in front of you, cut across in front of you, almost hit your car and sometimes hit your car. When you, once upon a time, you would curse them out. But now you just say, I pray for you, brother. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When they hit your car, you, you would used to start cursing, but now you say at least they didn't do it are teared up that bad. They only hit the fender. They didn't tear the whole car up. I pray for them. So you are new. Why? Because you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You're born again. You're born again. I'm, I am born again. You can say now I'm born again. I have that spiritual image of God. That spiritual image of God. I'm walking like Jesus. I'm talking like Jesus. I'm saying things that Jesus wants me to say. Why? Because I now have that spiritual image of God. Amen. 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 Thank you again. Uh, 
ladies and gentlemen, for sharing this moment with me as I deal with the image of God. And I thank you for just tuning in, just being a part of our broadcast. I pray that God will continue to bless you and yours real good. Have a blessed week this week. Make some good things happen in your life. Make some things. I know, I know, I know things happen, but some things you just have to make happen. Make it a good day. If, if it's going in the wrong direction and you don't know which way it's going, change some things. You can change. You have that power. God gave you the power to change some things. Make somebody happy this week. Make somebody happy. Make somebody happy. Now listen now, you know, uh, uh, in a few days, uh, Thursday, going to be Thanksgiving. And then uh, you're going to celebrate with family and friends. I just pray that you have a blessed Thanksgiving. Be safe. Now listen, listen, listen to the doctors. Listen to the scientists. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Social distance. Do the things that God will be, will be pleased that you did. Now, if you want to see Jesus real soon, you want to see him in a few days, a few weeks, just don't just just forget what the doctors are saying. But you want to live a long, long life. Do the things that the doctors and scientists uh, ask you to do. May God continue to bless you. Yours real good. Be blessed. Have a blessed Thanksgiving. Thank you. Um, uh, we want to, uh, first say thanks to all of you for giving and supporting our ministry. You really been great. Uh, many of you have reached, uh, uh, beyond and, and giving. And I want to thank you so very much. And I have, uh, on the stream, uh, the way that you can support our ministry. We have the Venmo cash app you can um drop it in the mail even uh you can drop uh pass by the church and drop it in our drop box all of these are down on the stream just look and follow the instruction and, and and keep on supporting the church keep on doing what you're doing and i just want to say from the bottom of uh, our hearts and thank you for what you're doing for being so faithful. Thank you so very much, and may God continue to bless you and yours.